I'm now at the Norwegian Autosport Federation to do a course on how to be a rally driver. Uh, yeah, I hope there's no exams because I'm terrible at them, but uh, interested in learning more about the sport and all the regulations. So let's go. My name is Molly Pettit. I live in Drammen, Norway, and in a couple of weeks I will be driving my first rally ever. It will be the third round of the Norwegian Rally Championship, a rally called Eralli Nimmedal, and it's on snow and ice, hopefully with some snow banks <laughs> to help me out. But uh, I thought I'd just give you a small insight to my background and the reason why I'm doing this. The main reason is because I think it will be incredibly useful for my job. I work as a stage end reporter in the World Rally Championship. I've been doing that since 2016. Uh, I also work with the Norwegian Rally Championship and many other off-road series. So basically, I just want to go through the whole process of a rally from testing, recce and the rally itself, uh, going through all the steps, leaving service in the morning, uh, the road section, the time controls, and then something I'm looking forward to most of all is to stand on the start of a special stage and wait for the co-driver to count me down and then launch into it. I can't wait for that. But my background, because um, this is not the first time I will be competing behind the wheel of the car. I have about uh, 10 years of circuit racing behind me and that all started in 2009 where I'd finished a four year long project building my first race car together with friends and I started my first race that year at Gothabil, which is a big street car event here in Norway. And I loved it from the very first meter. And I knew that this was something I wanted to pursue. And so I continued in the Norwegian GT Championship for a couple of years. And then I moved on to racing in Denmark, which is where I've raced for the majority of, um, of the time. So I started in the Danish and Norwegian Thundercar Championship where I raced a um, silhouette chassis Ford Mustang. Very hard, tough, um, a lot of contact racing. Uh, I learned a lot in those years. And then I moved on to the Super Turismo series in Denmark where the cars were much smaller, uh, weighed about 950 kilos and just over 300 horsepower. Um, I enjoyed uh, some really good times there, some great results as well, but unfortunately I had to stop because of money that's the way it is um, with motorsport but I'm so lucky uh, to be able to work with motorsport uh, and mainly rallying full-time uh, it's definitely um, a dream job uh, it takes me around the world uh, and I get to follow some very very interesting people uh, the best drivers in the world and um, now I just want to see if I can get a sort of small taste of what it's like to be them, uh, even though my speed will be incredibly slow in comparison. But anyway, this vlog I'm making uh, just to show you all the steps of the way, um, what it's like, what's challenging, what's fun, and yeah, maybe it'll inspire you to do a rally one day. So just back from the course this evening, it was three hours long. It was a lot about how the rally is organized. Uh, a big chunk was about safety, which is so important. And then we learned quite a bit about road books, time cards, pace notes. Uh, it was really interesting. A lot of other people there too, which is great. And uh, yeah, the application is now in to get my rally license. How cool is that? Yay.